welcome to Sunday Reset. Before we get into our Sunday Reset, we are going to church. I am going to the 1115 service. It is currently 9.51. I'm about to make me some breakfast, eat my breakfast, and then it's going to take me a good 30 minutes to get ready. I don't have much to do. So, yeah. Happy Sunday. Church service starts at 11:15. It is. It says I'm gonna get there at 11:22, which isn't too bad because I'll probably come in on like the second worship and praise song. So should, I'm not gonna be too late. But I kind of just wanted to tell y'all what's like on the to-do list for today for our Sunday reset. Pretty much, I'm just going to after I come from church, I am going to go straight to the grocery store. I already made me a grocery list. After I leave the grocery store, I'm just going to go home. I really need to clean up because, y'all, yesterday, yesterday was one of those days. Yesterday, I did not do anything. Like, I literally stayed in my bed all day yesterday. But that's okay because I needed that day. I've been exhausted from work all week. Uh, I really needed that, y'all. So, I stayed in the bed all day yesterday. I didn't do nothing they didn't go nowhere it was just it just felt so good to sit there and relax and do absolutely nothing it's good to have nothing days don't always feel like you have to do something don't always feel like if you don't move today then you're not going to reach your goals tomorrow like no it's all gonna come like it's okay to take a break to decompress and to really just do nothing okay it's, it's good for your brain to take a little breaky break but anyways, fast forward. I am going to go to the grocery store. After I go to the grocery store, I'm going to clean up. After I clean up, um, we're going to go through my weekly goals for this week as well as my monthly goals for November because I didn't set those um, last week. I'm also, I also need to create some, a content schedule and I need to figure out what content I can create today. So I might go ahead and create a little bit of content today for my business page. Nothing that I have to necessarily get dressed up for, but just like, you know, me showing off the items or whatever. Um, so that's all I have on my to-do list for today. I just love starting my Sunday reset off with church because I like come home with so much motivation and like energy and I'll be ready pumped for the week. Like, so yeah. I love starting my Sunday resets with church. Rock the night away, huh? 
Hey y'all, so I'm just I just got home from the grocery store and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got. I got my matcha. So this is my matcha that I make from home. It's really, 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 really good and it's super simple. It's already um swifted or shifted, I guess is what I call it. And it's super easy to make. Um I got some vegetable soup. This soup is super good, especially because it's getting a little cold outside. This is something easy I can make when I'm just like kind of hungry. First, I got my poppy. The cherry limeade is the best one. I don't care what nobody like. Got me some tomatoes, some olive oil, some macaroni elbows. I got some long grain rice, jiffy cornbread, yams, some ravioli. This is spinach and ricotta. It's so good, y'all. I love this stuff. I got some dishwasher pods. I got some paper towels, and I got some Dawn soap. I like these copper scotch little scrubbers because it gets everything from the bottom of your pan with ease especially when using Dawn. Perfect combo. Cheeses. Um, tuna because we're making tuna sandwiches. Some zucchini and squash. This is the best cheesecake ever. Some romaine lettuce for my tuna sandwiches and maybe a little salad. We'll see. Also chicken broth. Heavy whipping cream, whole milk. This is my first time trying this creamer. This is the almond creamer and it's dairy free. So, and it's caramel. So we're gonna see what that's like. And of course, some more almond milk. Also got me a frozen, some strawberries, some bread, some lemons for my night teas. I also got me a pack of water and some simply lemonade i really don't like to drink juice too much often but when i do like to have a little swig of it like with my breakfast or with my dinner but usually like during the day while i'm at work i strictly drink water so i try to drink as much water as possible these are my groceries y'all oh my gosh just pray for me because i feel like it's low-key oh i think i broke it like i broke it y'all i'm about to put these groceries up and then i will chat with y'all once i start cleaning up my apartment because that's what's next on today's sunday reset to-do list you can see the sun is coming down a little bit the lighting is like really weird or whatever but i am about to clean up i put all my groceries up i have my turkey wings unthawing because i am cooking dinner tonight so the plan is to clean up everything clean up my living room clean up my bedroom my bathroom and my office so i'm gonna do that and then after i clean up we're gonna sit down we're gonna plan for the week um and yeah we're gonna plan for the week we're gonna schedule content and we're gonna write our goals and then i will sit down and give you all a check-in on how my 30 60 90 day challenge is going i'm so excited to share y'all what i have learned over the course of my first six seven days so yeah, let's get into this cleanup.
cleaning up. I cleaned up everything. So I'm about to just like I'm about to just change into something a little bit more comfortable. Then we're gonna sit down when you're straight to business, okay? Hey y'all, as y'all can see, I'm in my PJs, I'm in my robe, I'm comfortable. In my bedroom, I'm real comfortable, y'all. As you can see, I literally just wrote down what my weekly goals were and what I will be doing for Monday. I don't like to write out like what I'm doing for Tuesday, excuse me, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because a lot of the times as my week progresses, Things come up and I have to switch out what I need to do for the day. So I just like to do that like daily or the night before. I only wrote out everything that I'm doing for Monday. So I'm going to share with you guys what my weekly goals are for this week. Yeah. My weekly goals for this week is to reach 1,750 followers on my business page. Receive six orders for my business this week. Work out Monday through Friday and I'll be doing so good y'all. I'm so happy proud of myself finished a facebook ads course i bought this facebook ads course and um i haven't started it yet because i really want to get into it i want to sit down and really learn so my goal is to do that by the end of this week create six new videos for content for my business page and post three i didn't mean to do that post two times on youtube so those are my weekly goals i'm gonna stick to it i've been doing pretty pretty good i try not to do too many goals at one time because that can get overwhelming so my 30 60 90 day challenge y'all might want to know how it's going so this is my first check-in if you don't know what the 30 60 90 day challenge is please go watch my last video i explained it to a t but we are here to change our lives and that is what the 30 60 90 day challenge is period started like i told y'all last week and y'all, it has literally been great. Like, I've been hitting most of my non-negotiables. Around, like, Thursday, Friday, work had me so exhausted to the point where Thursday and Friday, I did not wake up early enough to work out. I was so exhausted, y'all. Like, crazy exhausted. I'm working on that, being able to get up and go like I'm supposed to. Thursday, I worked out. I just worked out in my room. But it wasn't hardcore at all <laughs> but i'm trying to do better with that so i've pretty much been hitting all of my non-negotiables i've been reading before bed i've been washing my dishes before i go to sleep i've been journaling praying what else was on my list um, i was posting my content like i was supposed to like everything was working pretty pretty well i'm excited i do feel better when i work out in the mornings and i'm up early and i'm getting things done it feels so good to cross cross things off my list it felt even better to kind of wake up to like a clean apartment, a clean kitchen, baby girl, yeah. And this book that I'm reading is so good. So like reading it before bed, I'm actually enjoying it because I get books and I don't finish them. So me putting this on my non-negotiables list is helping me finish a book properly. So yeah. <laughs> I would say so far the 30, 60, 90 day challenge has been very well has been going very well for me i feel like your first week you kind of have to learn to like navigate um what's working for you and you kind of have to get used to your new normal per se i feel like the transition wasn't hard for me seeing that i was already doing some of the stuff um like waking up early and working out but now that it's non-negotiable it's like forcing myself to make sure that I do that every single day. The transition wasn't too hard. Just doing it every single day, that was like the challenge part, but I'm getting better and I'm excited to start this journey. Yeah, so if you started the 30, 60, 90 day challenge, in the comment section below, make sure you do a little check-in. I wanna see how you're doing. If you have questions about what it is or anything like that, please go watch my last video. It, sh it gives you all the information or you can ask the question down below. I'll be sure to answer it. So my Sunday reset, the house is super clean. Um, I'm ready for the week. I am working from home tomorrow, so I'm not gonna like set up my clothes and stuff. Um, my dinner is just finished, so I'm about to eat. 
it's a it's still a little early i'm making sure i'm going to bed at 10 30. i love 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 my sundays i really enjoy my sundays i think it's very imperative that we use our sundays to not only get rest but to also plan and be productive and actually set yourself up for success for the rest of the week so if you are watching this video and you never really did a sunday reset you never really you know focus in on your sundays and your plans and your schedules i think you should try it give it a try it doesn't have to look like my routine it can look like yours but you should definitely give it a try but this is the end of my sunday reset routine my sunday reset vibe i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i do want to start doing these sunday reset videos every sunday to not only just post about it but to also hold myself accountable to the goals that i said that i'm putting out there that i'm gonna do it's gonna help me hold myself accountable just by documenting that so that's also what these videos are for if you have any questions any suggestions please let me know in the comment section below please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching bye